guys welcome back to my channel so today's video might be a little bit mashed up and i am so 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 gutted because i've been so looking forward to filming this video and finishing it and getting it up for you guys to watch but this video is me designing and decorating a room in my sister's brand new house which i'm sure you guys know about by now i've spoken about it a lot on youtube and i've actually shown parts of the new house as well in certain videos and vlogs um so yeah i think i teased that i was doing this video because they have a beautiful house just down the road from me and they let me have a room to completely design and basically do what i wanted with it within reason obviously um, so that is exactly what I did and I thought it'd be such a cool video idea So I really hope you guys enjoy it But I do need to talk you through some parts because Where I've been filming this video for so long I started it I think possibly last year But maybe at the beginning of this, this year I lost so much footage and I'm so upset about it Because I've really tried to keep it safe and in one place and all together so that I could just like edit it all at the last minute before uploading it because obviously I've been filming up to like now um, but it's kind of inevitable that you just lose footage when I'm uploading so much and I'm always importing new stuff and then storage gets full so I have to delete things and I guess I just must have deleted it by mistake um, so these things happen it's fine i still have a lot of footage on my phone which is what i've used to sort of piece together this video and still create something for you guys to watch um, and then hopefully i'm gonna make a part two to this to this video as like a follow-up because the room is not completely finished anyways but i did want to get something up for you guys before i lost everything so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy i am going to talk you through the beginning stages that i've lost all footage of um and please subscribe if you're new and want to see more videos like this then let me know so first things first let's take it back to i think i want to say it was january after like straight after new year and zoe and ed who zoe is my sister ed's my brother-in-law they own this beautiful house um and i'm really hoping that i'm going to do a house tour when it's done as well because it's just unreal they have lots of bedrooms to decorate and yeah they they said that i could have some input so basically the first step i did was i went on to pinterest and i made a little mood board which i'll insert somewhere on the screen I'll, I'll show you um exactly what it looks like because i just basically put loads of photos together um because i i sort of knew i wanted to do like a color and a warm theme and they did mention that they wanted to have pops of color in the house um, because their last house was very monochrome and grey, white, black, very plain and simple, sort of like my flat is now. Um, but like everyone goes through phases of having very minimal decor and yeah, they're kind of just over it. So they wanted some colour in the house. So I was very excited to take on that challenge. And I came up with the theme of like a terracotta orange, which I just feel like is so warm and cozy and homely and like welcoming and also kind of reminds me of like being holiday i'm sure some of you guys will get that vibe hopefully but yeah that is the color that i went with and then i realized i really didn't want to have that on all of the walls i thought it might make the room look a bit closed in so i then decided to go for like a duo tone which was in a lot of photos on my mood board as well um so i wanted to do like really bright slash bold terracotta color on two of the walls and then the other two walls i wanted to have as like plain and neutral so it was a nice contrast so yeah basically i expressed this to zoe and ed and i said this is my vision this is my idea and i did get it all on camera um but that's the footage that i lost and they both loved it they were like yes I can see this that was on the day that we were going out to look for paint so again i filmed all of this but i'm not gonna it's done now i'm not gonna keep saying that um so yeah once we agreed that that was the thing we were gonna go for we went paint shopping and i'll insert a photo we chose two color paints um both from i'll have to remember um, and put it on the screen because i'm not sure of the brand 
um, and I'll put the names of the paints as well. But yeah, we both both all agreed on the color of the paints and we bought them and then that was it basically. We cracked on with painting. Um, I did a lot of it on my own um, because it was like my little challenge and they started to help me at the end with like final coats and stuff because they were like, right, let's get this room done now. Also, you will see at the end of this video that we are gonna put some prints on the wall. So you have to stay tuned for that because I'm very, very excited to say that I'm working with Desenio on this video and they have given me a discount code for you guys. So you can get 50% off their prints with my code. I'll leave all the info, I'll leave all the info on the screen because you don't wanna miss this. Their prints are so, so nice. They've got something for everyone and frames too but yeah you'll see everything at the end of the video with the prints and i'll also find the exact ones that i ordered and link them below i think i'm gonna pick up with you guys at the end of the video because i'm gonna play the footage that i have of me painting um and you will see where the room is at currently and i will check back in at the end of the video but i really hope you guys enjoy and yeah and we can ride the book and share that beat of love. I wanna ride Okay guys, I'm an actual idiot and my camera has been rolling whilst we had dinner. Um and pretty much the whole time I've been here. Hi. Um so it's dead now, but just a little update. This wall is done in terms of the first coat. Obviously it's gonna look patchy because it is still drying and it does need another, co another coat. But it's only half eight, so I'm actually thinking to do this wall as well as they are the same color whilst the paint's out. Um, and then obviously I'll clear up and come back and do another coat another day. It's very light and it's not really showing up very well on camera so you can see the difference that's like just an undercoat so yeah i'm gonna do this wall now so i need to cut in first along the bottom behind the radiator along the top and along that wall because this wall is going to be terracotta and yeah we're going to bring it all the way in here actually as well so I need to cut in down there. So that is what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. And I'll show you where I get to before I go home. Wrapping up for tonight, we've done one layer by we, I mean me. <laughs> <laughs> I've done one layer of this colour um, on both walls. So next time I come, I will do a second coat on this and then we can start on the fun colour. I feel like I've got the boring colour out the way. And I'm very excited to paint the terracotta colour on this wall. But yeah, that is good night for tonight. So I'm back at Zoe and Ed's house and I have actually painted a second layer on this wall, these two walls actually. Um, you can sort of see the difference between the undercoat and yeah, the full colour. And I'm really happy with it. Um, and it's only like seven o'clock, so I'm gonna make a start on the terracotta because this is the fun bit. This is the fun color. Um, so I've been really excited to do this one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start off with the outline and the um, oh, edging, I guess. Um, so, wow. This is the paint color. I love it so much. It's almost like a plaster colour. I think you can kind of see the plaster colour in the hole. But it's like the colour that it goes on. And it dries a lighter colour. But yeah, I love it. It's like a terracotta orange. And, and then we can start doing the little edges. It's always find to, hard to find something to stir it with. I use this polystyrene for the other one. So I'm going to use it for this one as well so satisfying to probably show you from there. Okay, I put the flash on. Oh, wow, how satisfying is that? Almost looks like a chocolate. Um, so yeah, that is like the true color. It's like a burnt orange vibe and I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing the outline. Cause we had to have established 
actually been completely cleared out last time I was in here there was loads of stuff in here but it's been a while um, and tonight's job is to do a second coat on this color um, I know that Zoe has sanded down and filled in some holes that should have been done before but we just sort of skipped that part we're both gonna work on it together tonight because we want to get it done and this coat has already had two walls I mean this color so it's just focusing on this color once this is done the carpet's gonna go down zoe's chose the carpets and both of them have and it's like a nice um what's the color i'll try and find it when i go downstairs because i think they've still got a sample but it's like a minky color and i'm pretty sure they're having it all the way everywhere upstairs so it had to match every room so yeah that's very exciting firstly we have to finish the paint job and Zoe's just reminded me that also we need to do the skirting, which is going to be white. So, are we going to do that? We won't do that tonight, will we? Not sure. But yeah, that's also on the to do list. coat is done and drying and it already looks so much better not patchy I've said it so many times but in the daylight this looks so much better I will try and come and show you guys in the day really soon because I've only been here when it's dark which is not helpful but yeah I'm gonna go wash up and next is the skirting boards which we're not gonna do tonight probably maybe one day next week um, and then it's carpets. I'm actually gonna try and find the carpet that Zoe's chose. Okay, so these are the carpet samples. Try and find the one that Zoe's talking about. This is the one, 73 Onyx. And it's like a gray, minky, nudie mix. I think it'll go well in all bedrooms. So yeah, that's next on the agenda. We are back in the room. The last time I filmed was probably a couple months ago now. We have carpet. Ooh, carpet woo -woo. all through the hallway and all upstairs and all in the rooms. And we are upstairs. They've already put a desk in, haven't you guys? As the interior design of this room, I'm not sure that's staying there. <laughs> but it is staying in this room. No, I'm joking. I like the desk. And um, the desk, where did you get it from? Facebook Marketplace. Is that five pounds? Amazing, and it's like solid wood. Right, so. Next step is prints. So we got a big box from, <clears throat> trying to cover up my dress, Desenio. We chose the prints together. We did. But I did send yeah. you some and then like tell you which, ask you which ones you like. How many did you get? I think there's five. Five, but two big ones. Wow. And then three little ones. So they come from the frame or they send the frame No, you, you get the frame separately. And I chose gold frames. 
Wow. Wow. Gold again. The orange will be really nice. So, Ooh. here are the frames. So, Very nice. So I got three of the size three times thirty times forty. So I'll tell you my vision once we get them all out, and then you're gonna prove. This is the same frame I put my. I was gonna say that is the same. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're nice, aren't they? I have yeah, I have nice. Petrus from just Henio. Yeah, we like these. Myself. Anyway, don't we? There you go. And then these are the big ones. So they are fifty by seventy. Yeah, love. Yeah, nice. And then all of the. Prince. Oh, I got three. Oh, you got three. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so I got six in total. To be fair, if there's if there's too many for this room, then we can put them somewhere else. I guess. Yeah. So if you want to buy one of them. Yeah. So <gasps> I got Ooh. this one. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that matches the room nice, doesn't it? Really it matches the paper. Yeah. I can't really see the colour. So I feel like the orangey one should go on the creamy one, and the creamy one should. Uh, I think I'll just add that. So yeah, I got. I like that as well. And orange. I said orange. These go really nice. Yeah, they do. They're like both got a little bit of colour. Oh, and then that sort of looks like. The oh, I got this one for the green room. Oh, I was just about to say oh. that would go nice in the green room. Yeah, I got that for the green room. Do you like that? Yeah, I think like that. Is oh. that a person in a line? I don't know. I think it's just shape. I think I'll put it the other way around. Because then it's less of a person in a line. And then another terracotta one. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got three ones. Love them. Very nice. These lines. Yeah, I think that one might be my fave. Oh, I love the sun. And the sun. Oh, yeah, the sun's cool. So I thought those two could look nice together. So nice. Yeah, nice. In the big frames. Should we put them in the frames now? Yeah. Yeah. And then they won't get creased. What's the um, paper quality like? It's really thick. It is. Thanks to Zenio. And also I have a code which I'll put on the screen. I'm th pretty sure it's 45% off. Wow, is it? That's good. So. And we'll order some for the rest of the house. Yeah. And also Zoe and Ed have just said that they will be happy to do a finished house tour. <laughs> Might be a while. Well, that's going to be a few years. People are very invested in their, your house, aren't they? They have an Instagram account, which I'll put on the screen. <laughs> the Bishop's Renovation. That one about there. Yeah, oh my god, it looks so nice on that wall. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Right, so I saw this so on, on Desenio. It oh, is Ed, do you want to put just an example of how I think the frames would look. Yeah, just like on a staggered next to it, sort of. What, what do you mean staggered, as in like that? Yeah, yeah a little bit down, down yeah. There. No, I think that, down a bit actually. Then and then another one above it, yeah. Right, yeah I like that. that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then Ed, if you could hold this one above it. I love that against the actual orange wall. Oh, yeah, the orange is really good match. We don't want to go that too high, basically. And then, yeah, the other one, I think maybe move it over that way a bit. I think that's probably going there, isn't it? Maybe in line with that. Yeah, and nice. This one. Yeah, that one is in line, and then the other, like, crosses over both. No, it crosses over, so it needs to come down over Yeah, like, there in the middle, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. If we go from the height point first, maybe. So you don't really want it any higher than that, do you? Do you? Oh. It's got to be in line with the other one, hasn't it? So I think you've got to do the other one. Yeah, do one as a starting point. It yeah. kind of doesn't matter which That's one. That's good for height. Grab the bottom one. Just go right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably about right. You can there? Yeah, about there. Okay, right, mark this. Got to go get one you were out there for a few hours, aren't you? It's on the wall, because, well, wear it all the way. <laughs> it's all... It needs to come towards the wall. Oh, it's going to look sick. I'll tell you what, I will hold it. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> Dear love. <laughs> I got a pencil. Quick, because our arms are killing us. Oh, you stayed in the same position? I did. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I don't know what I did with the pencil. Is it behind your room or in your pocket? No. Where is it? 
Okay, this is the finished wall. So, so good. You happy with it? I'm so happy with it. We just put the pampas grass in the corner just for now to give it a little bit of something. But yeah, I think it looks so good. They really complement the wall, these, um, these prints. So I'll try and find the exact ones that I got in case you're interested. And link them below. They do, it's not really picking up. I'll have to get you to like take a photo in the day because this room looks so much brighter in, in natural daylight. And also this colour of the wall just doesn't pick up on camera. It looks kind of like muddy on camera, but it's not. No, yeah, you're right actually. Um, but yeah, nice. what do you guys think? We can't wait to dress it now. So we're going to look online for I think a sofa bed and see what we can find. So that is the end of this video. Um, as you can see, the room is very nearly done. It just needs dressing now with like furniture. Um, there is a desk in there, but I think we've decided on doing a sofa bed instead of a bed because it's not a massive, massive room. And I think it's gonna be more of an office -y space but with the space of someone to stay there if they need to. So yeah, that is the next step, but I didn't want to leave you guys too long without this video and yeah, lose more footage. So I wanted to get this part up, but of course I will show you what the room looks like when it's done and I'm very excited for it to be done. I love, love the prints. Uh, I think they really finish off the walls and they just go so well. And isn't it so good when a vision comes to life? Um, so yeah, I'm so happy with it and I know they are too. Um, I didn't actually mention when we started painting the walls, I could just read it on their faces. I know that they just weren't sure because the vision boards and the paint obviously is that like, great. But I think when it was on the walls, I think they were like, this is bold. Um, and I was like, guys, you've got to trust the process. And they were like, no, we like it. Like they never ever admitted to not being sure but i just know they weren't but now they are like no we actually love it so yeah we're really happy with it i'm so happy with it um and yeah i will let you guys know what it looks like when it's done so yeah that is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for part two um and yeah subscribe if you're new comment down below any other videos you want to see and i'll see you in my next one bye